Hello and greetings from inside Kamikaze 2014. It's day three, Sunday. I am the Green Hornet with my martial arts expert Kato as always. Our identities are concealed, but we're here with our friends Ming and Mike, the comic book men. And uh, apparently they're big Green Hornet and Kato fans from 1966. Huge Kato and Green Hornet fans. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that, guys. Uh, I, what more do you need to know? I got two words for you, Bruce Lee. That absolutely. Makes, That's why everybody watched the show. Uh, absolutely. Uh, as everybody knows now, when they ship the show to Asia, they called it the Cato Show, as it probably should have been called all along. But Mike's more of the Green Hornet fan. He like Van Williams. I'm more Black Beauty, Bruce Lee. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was it was great. My my only real connection to the Green Hornet uh, growing up was the two part episode with Batman. They never showed any of the Green Hornets in reruns, which kind of ticked me off because I thought that these guys were much cooler than Batman and Robin. Don't tell Adam West I said that, but it's the truth. Well, you know, it was different. It was the 60s. The, the Batman show was a little more campy, and uh, it was more popular. The Green Hornet show had a little bit of a darker side. Yeah. They were, like, operating as criminals. That's why Franklin and I like the, uh, the Green Hornet and Cato dynamic, because it's a little bit more of an intellect there. They have to be a little more cautious the way they do things. Franklin, what do you think about that? I think it's great. I mean, it's gr nice to be able to have that nostalgia of reliving the 60s and dressing as our favorite characters because no one else in the world does it. I mean, I think, I think we're the best at, at what we do. And what do you think of the costumes, guys? Hey, you guys, you guys look great. I mean, I, 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 I've, I've had some, I've tried, you know, I, I, I dressed up as Kato for Halloween. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, you know, but, you know, I didn't have time to find the awesome mask that you had. And, you know, I threw in a leather ja jacket, you know. I figured, you know, I had half the look. I just put the other half and pretty easy. But you, 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 guys, got it, you guys got it done great. Yeah, you did. Uh, my Green Hornet's pretty impressive, but yours, I must say, is impeccable. And then the accessories, man, the, the, the Hornet Sting. I don't know where you got this. This is pretty amazing. Yeah, where did you get yeah, this? The, the, well, boys? okay, the history is the props are actually made by Factory Entertainment to be replicas from the 1966 show. Uh, the Sting was actually a gift from uh, a big supporter of ours, Loretta, in Canada, bought that for us as a gift. Uh, the darts, also from Factory Entertainment. Uh, Franklin's got those in green and yellow. Uh, you know, Franklin really put together most of the costumes. He had somebody at uh, Dior design the jackets for us, and um, he had the, the hats custom made, you know, the masks you're able to buy from, uh, it's Clint Young Productions, right? Yeah, and uh, you know, we just put it together over time. It was a labor of love, because we love the characters as much as you guys do. So, you guys look great. All right, so, uh, appreciate your time, guys. Black Beauty's parked out front. Oh yeah, you know, we drove it here today. You know, the arsenal, we had to conceal some of the guns and you know, the missiles and everything, so it was uh, street legal, but we got it here today. So, I'll let Franklin sign off. Yeah. Yeah, I want to ask you guys also, I mean, being that Kevin, unfortunately, we missed, we missed Kevin yesterday, what do you think that, uh, what is his opinion? What do you think that he would think of everything? I think you think you look, you guys look great. Um, Kevin's a huge Green Hornet fan. Oh, we know. Oh, yeah. He tried to do the movie. What happened with that? Why Why is Seth Rogen not Kevin? Um, I, I think Kevin stole that story many times. Uh, I, I think it was just too big for him. He didn't want to mess with um, an action movie. That's not his forte. Right, right. And how about you, Ming? Yeah, I th you know, I think if it were now, I think it was just, it was just a little too early for him to tackle an action movie. If you were to do it now, if you, if you, if you especially if you saw a Tusk and Rudd State, mm -hmm. last two movies, I, I think you could totally do it now. Yeah. How about uh, Steve? What do you, I mean, what do you think of this whole experience? I mean, being that, you know, we're here for the very first time, we're meeting these guys. Remember, we met this summer yes, over in Red Bank. And, uh, you know, here we are. It's finally, the moment has finally come true. So it's really a pleasure meeting you guys. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, you know, remember, Gong Fu is Gong Fu. It's not child's play, right? Yeah. I'll get you a costume, man. But in the meantime, we'll tell you all about this. All right. Tell them, Steve. All right. Well, we'll sign off for now from the Green Hornet and Kato and our friends Ming and Mike, the comic book men from Kamikaze 2014. We'll see you later.